we quickly move to 138 for the pound category. This is another senior for the Eagles. Lauren Den has a 17-4 record. Very impressive so far this year, but again, Logan Meek for Crater, 16-2. So both of these guys... They've won some matches. Yeah, they've won some yeah. matches, and neither one of them is really going to want to lose here. Single leg already that Meek is using, and it turns into a takedown already, 2-0. Oh, he did not wrestle Chuck at the Oregon Classic. Oh, he's going right after Dan, that's for sure. He really looks like, yeah. despite not wrestling in that big two-day event in Redmond, that he's really lost any of his firepower. Right. Has the one shoulder down. Huh. Den yeah. already struggling to get out of it. Another takedown. Well, that must have been back. In a minute and a half. That must have been yeah. back. Back, yeah. For nothing. Just about going to go out. There we go. Yeah. Clock stops at 116, so. Den's father wrestled at, I was telling you earlier, wrestled at, at Medford and then at Southern Oregon. Uh-oh. Nope. Boy, we're seeing a lot of those, and we did see those at Eagle Point right. as the, the invite as well on Saturday, and we probably didn't make too much of a note of them after a while because we just saw too many of them, and plus right. with everything else going on, yeah, it wasn't really what the fans were paying exactly. attention to that much. Exactly. One shoulder down with Meek on top. Still leading it by four, under a minute to go in the first. Den's trying to lift Den's himself up. Trying get, to come up. He's on his two feet and yeah. maybe still on the meek. edge of getting a yeah. reversal. Yeah, still Meek, even though it doesn't look like it. Meek is still in control here. We'll just, we'll just watch the official. He's still got a good grip on one leg, and now he's over both of them. And At 50-50 uh -oh. position just about, uh -oh. and Lock suddenly locking. Meek is on top walking. Yeah, they're going to call that again. Another thing we've seen a lot of, we didn't see that as much in the invite, despite all the action we saw. There were a lot more false starts and a heck of a lot more pins on Eagle Point side. Right. So finally, finally, Den is See, on the board. A, they call that a redrop right there. The guy, the bottom guy comes up and he's almost getting away, and they redrop. They called redrop. I see Meeks trying to turn him here. With yeah. Four to one in favor of Meek. This is an interesting strategy. He was. He was pushing Den, and an interesting way to do that while he's on top and the back uh -oh. was on. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Might be trying uh -oh. to. And yeah, he was. I think he was lucky that the clock one. went all the way down to zero because you're technically not supposed to drag him out like that or push him out. Yeah, that was real close. I thought very close. I thought Mr. Dalkey was going to get him. But. Yeah, I, I, I did too. <laughs> I, I will admit that. Yeah. So here is the second wow. period, and Meek still leads it by three. He'll remain and re on re top. Reversal. And reversal. reversal. Meek started on the bottom. Reversed him. That's a reversal, it's, 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 yeah. For, see a leg cradle. See, he started off with a regular cradle, yep. and now it's kind of a leg cradle. We got the leg, and we got the head, and uh, somewhat unorthodox, but Boy, it, wor it works. Despite Den's impressive 17 and 4 record, he is really struggled to gain any sort of foothold. This is the first time I've seen the meat kid. He's pretty tough. Uh-oh, look at that. Late and he's getting back points and, back and a point. very strong move. Right. All right. Two. two. He's going to get two on the near fall, but his lead is up to seven. Eight to one with 113 in the second period. Good job, Max. <laughs> well, I was, I was doing this for six hours on right, Saturday, right, so right. we got into a groove, Lincoln and I. Right, right. Uh -oh, and I felt bad for Lincoln. He was doing double duty for the six hours. Another regular cradle. Back points. Yeah, doing cradle. color camera. Right. Under a minute to go. And two more on another near fall. That's a nine-point lead. We're now in the range of major decision time, assuming that the score stays the way it is. Remember, the, yeah, the range is eight to 14 points for that. All right. All right. Uh oh, Mr. Den has got to stay off his back and county. Yeah, more back points Remember, yet again. A two count. Get to a two count, two points. A five count is three points. Anything in between for those who don't know? 
No, no, you got you got a one count, which is nothing, and then after five, it doesn't make any difference. It's so that time it was three, which we were just describing, so right. it's up to 12 points. They go out with .7 seconds left in the period so second round yeah not much of time to do anything unless somebody's got a trick up their sleeve right meek's kid's pretty tough because i know ben i know ben's pretty tough yeah. like i said it's the first time i've seen this crater kid well he's certainly been impressive so far again leading it 13 to 1 with two minutes left in this one they're going to elect to go neutral so pretty much what Den has to do is to minimize as much of the lead as possible in order to soften the blow yeah. with Crater keeping Two hands on keeping that big lead. It's 15 points and it was as big as 21. Uh oh, Meek's got him in trouble now. Yeah, hook that leg back. Yeah, it's a takedown take for it. two. Meek. Back. Suddenly we might get a technical fall if. Yeah. If Meek just gets even one more point. Yeah, that was, one. A, tech, that was a tech fall. See, yeah, Meek, they're going to call another yeah. takedown. So the match ends well, with 122. Another back. Another back. In the period. Yeah. 17 to 1 ends up being the final. So we will get five more yep. points for Crater. Wow, that kid's a buzzsaw. 